So guys, today I've got the Harrogate Town Sim. Um, this may be Haynes's last game at centre back for a while. Um, I don't think Lang is fit enough for the game yet. Um, he's in reserve for this match too. So um, I think I put him in reserve. He might be on the bench. Um, yeah, Lang is in reserve. So yeah, Haynes at centre back, either last or second to last game. If this one isn't his last game at centre back, it def it definitely will be his last one next time. He is still the top scorer in the league despite being playing at centre back for the past two months, which shows how good he is at striker and we do need him at striker and I am looking forward to him coming back and that should be a red card, he's kicked him in the thigh in the side, not the thigh like just above the waist I was meant to go to Olafo but looks like Varga is going to get there anyway tackled by fellow field Olafo saves by the looks of it. Corner kick swung in. It's Scott. Ah, oh, just trying to try something a bit sneaky. I, I, I was trying to make it look like I was lining up for a cross and then go for a shot to try and catch the keeper out and try to get it in the far top corner curling the way you wouldn't expect it to but it didn't work good tackle by Kazlos Kass Garcia Tetek Olafo trying to find Garcia at the back post not the best of ideas Tetek gets the ball back for us Kaz lost Kaz Olafo shoots low and finds the back of the net 1-0 Olafo this as it's Hain, as it could be Haynes' last game at centre back, it could be Olaf. Well, it won't be his last game at striker, but it will be his last game being a starter, unless another centre back gets injured or Lang gets injured again. But this run of games for Olaf has been good for him, and it should help us keep him from Millwall until the end of the season because well, I'm not going to sign him on a permanent deal but this season we do need him we've got we've got strikers in well a striker in the youth academy who looks good so we don't need Olafo but we do need him for this season but next season we'll be completely fine without him but we will miss his pace Varga saved Olafo couldn't turn it in Garcia Aja boy tackled Kerwin don't know why Aja boy left that from there over the top to Aja Boy. Aja Boy trying one of his classic tight angle shots. Saved by the keeper. Aja Boy tries to put in a cross, but Thompson was in a good position. Haynes having to chase down Diamond. 
great challenge by Haynes. Oh my god! That is... That is gonna go down as a jank... It's gonna go down as a Kerwin own goal, but it, it's Jankos Gas's error, really. Um, no excuses for Jankos Gas there. Probably should have shouldn't have kept it in there. Should have just let it go out. But it's a bad mistake by Jankos Gas right at the end of the first half. And we're gonna have to regroup at half time. Um, our best player at the moment is Olafo on a 7.8, our goal scorer. Um, let's get the second half underway. Gotta forget about that own goal. Thing, these things happen in football. Olafo, Aja Boy, Kerwin, Kerwin puts in a delivery cleared away by Desmond, Aja Boy, Varga with a brilliant chance and he smashed it into the top corner, that's a good finish by Roland Varga, 2-1 back in the lead. <coughs> It was, I knew it was a great chance when it came to him and Varga, it, he's one of the best players that you'd want in that position that we have in our team. Scott now. Trying to cut inside and find the top corner. Major boy, no support with him. He's gonna have to go alone, probably. We've got Olafo as some sort of support. Doesn't make himself an option though. Now we've got Garcia. Could have won a free kick there if he went down. I think. Scott tries to find Garcia. Oh, over the bar. That was a good chance for Harrogate Town. And we, we can't be losing or drawing. We can't be losing this by one or drawing because we don't want that own goal to cost us a point or two. Kasvos Kass. Varga. Age Boy back in. Olafo. Can't get there before the keeper. Gotta win that. Tetek doesn't do the best job at it. No. Oh, he's shot it over the bar. Ribeiro. Cas lost Cas. Vargas making the run. Age Boy's at the back post. He's open. We'll try to find Age Boy. Defender gets in the way. That's that was a good idea if he saw the pass, but I think he was mainly just boosting. Oh, that's a poor pass by Tetek. And Ribeiro can. Um, easily deal with it. We've got to calm down, boys. We're rushing and making mistakes. Olafo. Scott. Another poor pass. I'm going to get a yellow card for that at the end of play. Yeah, Olafo probably will get booked when the ball goes out.
good save. So the ball's been fouled here, and now Olafo gets a yellow card. Well, that is full time. We win 2 1. The own goal does not cost us. Um, Rankos Cass will be very relieved at that. Um, the own goal, it was a Kerwin own goal, but it wasn't Kerwin's fault. Um, it was Jankos Cass's fault. Um, our best player was actually joint between Jankos Cass, Raga, and Olafo, all getting 7.5. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see the league table. So we have moved up to top position in League 2. We are four goal difference ahead of Stevenage and five points ahead of Barrow. So we're five points comfortable in automatic promotion. Um, but only eight points ahead of eighth. So it is a difficult uh, and very tight league at the top. Um, Bristol Rovers is our next match here in eighth. Um, uh, that's the end of this video, goodbye.